Okay, and our a wonderful part two should be coming on any second. There we go. Uh, it indicates live for me here on my side, so I'm hoping I'm transmitting information. Welcome everyone. I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000. You're watching Volcano X live stream. This is a part two of our show, and we of course saved the uh, other 12 hours. Uh, on YouTube so uh, you can always go back and see what the heck happened during that time even with our little uh, errors and stuff anyway uh, awesome and uh, yes we hear you thank you Juliet and uh, dolphin uh, dolphins a child the 62 and others uh, stream a uh, start Dennis Dennis uh, yeah what's a uh, Dennis Anyway, uh, thank you, uh, Teresa. Welcome. I uh, good to see you, and thank you, uh, Dave. All right. Uh, so uh, Dave got the lava cookies, and of course, um, we better uh, fix everybody else out, uh, or uh, everybody else up, uh, and uh, we'll uh, get that going. Um, hopefully, if I can uh, do it, uh, I better uh, spell it, uh, that right. Otherwise, it's not going to be very fresh. <laughs> All right, uh, let's uh, get uh, the lava cookies uh, served. There you go. Dave who? I don't know. I, I don't know uh, Dave's last name. Hang on, uh, we'll ask him. Dave, is your last name super? <laughs> um... You know, uh, DJ, I think it's a Super Dave. No, hang on, that's a different Dave. Uh, maybe it's a Gemma Dave. I have no idea. Um, what? Uh, tell him to fix that thing? Oh, oh careful. Careful fixing things. Uh, sometimes uh, fixing things can make things worse. Hopefully everyone is good. Anyway, glad to have you all on board for our part two. Remember, it is a new stream. I give that like button a quick bop if you haven't done that yet. And of course, um, yeah, I'm going to go take a break here uh, shortly. And we're going to leave the lovely lava on the screen. And of course, I will um, come back and we'll do bacon seeds. And uh, Piggy has uh, selected some new seeds for us for today and i've got them loaded i did that this morning made sure i have them loaded darn it i'm not just converted over but loaded so that'll be a pretty cool anyway for those good people here yeah do hit that like button if you haven't done it yet and uh, there's of course the others who uh um, didn't uh, quite uh, make it over here we're still seeing uh, seven lurkers over on the other side on the stream uh, that's uh, finished hopefully uh, they will uh, make it over uh, shortly so um we'll uh, leave that be and uh, let's see uh, what else am i going to uh, talk about here for right now um yeah i was uh, looking very happily looking at my amount of subscribers is uh, now and 9053 so um, it's uh, doing well uh, that way and uh, that is uh, nice to see uh, getting over that um, that 9000 mark was a pretty a uh, tough challenge so I'm uh, glad to have um, that gone over and uh, of course uh, we're the next target is uh, a 10k and uh, that is 947 away <laughs> so uh, anybody know 947 people and that are real people <laughs> it would be awesome uh, to uh, have them uh, pop in and uh, subscribe anyway uh, that is uh, all good and uh, joking him around about that part I have uh, invisible people sometimes oh invisible people Wow we got to be careful with those anyway um, Sarah uh, yeah, smile. Uh, they are friendly, I think. Um, anyway, I uh, never see a Gura. Oh, Gura pops on in the uh, daytime. You got to remember, it's late at night. He may uh, be at work and stuff like that. Uh, Harvey and the rabbit. Uh-oh. 
Well, Harvey the rabbit and the rest of them are, uh, they were in last night and stuff eating. I haven't seen any yet today, but I'm sure uh, the rest of our wonderful bunnies will uh, pop in sooner or later. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to go take that break, you guys. So hang in there. Hit the like button if you haven't done that yet. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And uh, we will be uh, back after the break. We'll show uh, bacon seeds. And then we'll go from there. We'll see what else we can find out around the world. Off to the lounge for more cook cookies. I got the hiccups. Oh, no. I got to fix that. Pepsi fixes it. Uh, Richard and Gayo. Uh, Richard and Gayo. Gal. I'm a, I, what? I am a friendly. Hello, uh, Vulcan, uh, Vulcan people. I have a lava cookies. Uh, looks delicious. Yep. All right. I'll be back. Uh, don't go away, you guys. And uh, enjoy the music.
and there we go the microphone is back on and of course I'm your host Dr. Fox 2000 you're watching Volcano X live stream and a welcome or welcome back everyone and a thanks and galactic and a Dennis and uh, whose birthday is it uh, thank you uh, Susie and a uh, Sasha and uh, Colin and uh, uh, thank you, uh, Teresa. Uh, what? Who uh, said it's a bomb's birthday? Uh, hey, good to see you. Is it a bomb's birthday today? Really? Is it a bomb's birthday? Uh, I don't know if it is or not. Somebody answer me. Bob, answer me. Is it your birthday? Thank you, uh, Dave, uh, for the welcome back. And Arian6 as well. And uh, he's uh, not answering I hear you, Dr. Fox 2000, and happy birthday to all the birthday folks. Uh, no, it's uh, not Bob's birthday. Bob the Volcano, oh, it's the 19th. Yeah, it would, or actually, yeah, over there in Iceland. And uh, that is correct. Okay, Bob, now we understand Bob the Volcano. Yes. Happy anniversary, and uh, uh, Bob, and uh, of course, uh, what ended up to be Ragnar in the end, and uh, that is, is about the time uh, the rumblings started. Actually, it's not quite there yet. It uh, did uh, pop, though, um, and, and the uh, the wee hours of the morning, so it was uh, pretty uh, Bob who started it all. Yeah, we'll blame Bob. Not a C and D boy, a Bob, but a Bob the volcano. Four years ago, we had uh, our uh, um, big earthquake. Wow, uh, four years ago. That's a long a time. Yep. Anyway, uh, there we go. Uh, let's uh, get let's get over to the uh, next stuff though, and uh, we'll uh, go here and take a look at our uh, bacon seeds. This is the last one from yesterday. And we'll uh, take a look at uh, the first one uh, for today. And um, uh, tomorrow's will be interesting because they are actually endangered uh, piggies. And we'll uh, take a look at uh, those. Uh, this one uh, is a couple of them. They're playing in the hay pile. They're having a little bit of fun. Uh, snout bopping and things like this. Cheetah. Yep. And that's <laughs> that kind of... I was thinking the same thing there, uh, Sasha. Uh, anyway, here's a whole bunch of them. They're all smiling, getting cuddled, and uh, they're all liking it. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, yep, I've got to love getting cuddled. Everybody likes uh, getting cuddled. Uh, that is uh, very awesome. Let's uh, get to the next one. And uh, there we go. Uh, that is... Uh oh it's, it's the big uh, doggy checking on the little uh, piglets. And I'm uh, saying, yep, and they're all okay. Uh, I count them. One, two, three. Yep, uh, three little piggies. Hang on, four. Four little piggies. One's laying there curled up. Uh, all uh, cool, so a very, yep, uh, the nanny dog. Um, some of them can be really good nannies too. Uh, those little pigs like, actually like uh, friendly dogs. Um, Sometimes it's not so good though because if a bad, mean a dog comes along and the friendly dog uh, is not there, the uh, pigs think, oh, it's going to be a friendly dog and it's not. Anyway, and then you have to get uh, the bigger army out and they go after that dog <laughs> with uh, these guys. Uh, they're uh, not so little bacon seeds. <laughs> these guys look like uh, they're a little on the heftier side already. And that is a pretty awesome. Uh, the uh, piggy army. Yeah, you got to watch out for a piggy army. And a uh, big pig. Yeah. Uh, bacon. Uh, uh, what? A rasher. <laughs> uh, yep. And uh, here's a couple more little uh, cute ones. Uh, these are little littler again. And uh, they uh, look absolutely gorgeous. I love looking at them. Uh, that is uh, just a, a beautiful picture. I, I gotta like that. Spotty in the front and then Mr. Leaf Picker Upperer 
in the back he's at least he's got an oak leaf in his mouth and that is a pretty awesome let's get to the next one and uh, we'll see oh some more spots uh, these guys I think they need a yeah a hogwash definitely somebody I get them in the hogwash and they're dirty and we I need a clean pigs here oh boy uh, Demel, Del, yeah, uh, Dalmatian uh, seeds. Anyway, there's the hog washes, and uh, that's uh, what we want to see. Oh, a really a big hog wash required for this one. He's going. Look at how dirty I am. I love it. <laughs> uh, snout uh, covered, and uh, that is uh, pretty bad. Yep, I definitely need uh, need him. Get him in the. Uh, um, in the hog wash, dirty snout, dirty feet too. Look at that pig pen he's living in. Boy, they should clean that out. Anyway, uh, hey, didn't we see him uh, just the other day? This little guy coming right towards the camera with his uh, buddies and a mama in the background. I think so. Um, but uh, that is okay. Uh, oh, he's bringing the hogwash truck, the portable unit. Uh, that is a pretty cool. Uh, next one. Yep, we know this one. Yeah, uh, the uh, flying ears. Yeah, and uh, uh, we uh, don't know these two, though. We've never seen these before. Um, yep, looks like they're resting and napping. I think maybe they could uh, use a hogwash too. They got uh, dirty snouts. But, uh, yep, they are good. Uh, going home to my uh, pup. Uh, you all have a nice one. Okay, uh, Dennis, you take care. Safe travels and all the best there. Let's uh, get to our last bacon seed for today. And uh, there we go. And there's our last one. And uh, I, he's got spots on him too. And uh, this one has got, you know, carrying his heart on his uh, cheeks and his side and his back. <laughs> so, uh, little seed, yep, with hearts all over him. He's uh, got several hearts. And you can see them on the side of his uh, body there. On the hind, uh, hind quarter is a heart. And... Uh, that is a pretty a neat to see those spots. A really cool looking. <clears throat> yep, a little a speed. Uh huh. Anyway, uh, love. Uh, yeah, the love pig. Absolutely. And his ears flopped over though. Uh, give your pup a bone from me, Dennis. There you go. Uh, that's uh, from a pepper. Um, yep, love pig. Let's leave it as that. Let's uh, carry on with other places around the world. Big thank you to Piggy for supplying those wonderful bacon seeds. As always, I really do enjoy that. <clears throat> thank you, Piggy. And uh, let's uh, get over to uh, Merapi and see uh, what Merapi will bring us today. And uh, there is Merapi. The weather looks a whole bunch better. Not quite so. Oh, I can't say that. Uh, rhymes with Merapi, though. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, okay, uh, going back. We uh, did have some cloud in there. Uh, that was at 7.26 a.m. Uh, what we were looking at. And this is a 4.27. Uh, still a little bit of a cloud in there. And I'm sure that cloud will uh, have inundated us uh, for the most part. It did, too. Uh, I don't know if uh, there were any clear patches. They uh, do have a lot of storms moving through uh, central uh, Java or even a southern uh, Java or east Java, west Java. Uh, that whole area has uh, got some weather. So again, we're not able to see anything. Um, it's unfortunate, but hey, I, I was hoping. Anyway, back to live. Maybe tomorrow we'll be able to see something as the weather improves a little bit there on Java and in Indonesia. Let's go take a look at the next one. We'll see what Madame Rutsa has up. I'm going to refresh here and see. 
if she has uh, something for the 18th in uh, the, one of the shorts. Nope, last one she did was uh, this one, which we already looked at from the 16th. So we will skip uh, to all a volcano today and we'll go uh, right over to Mount Ruapehu in uh, New Zealand. And uh, they are scanning around uh, looking for Wonky Donkey. Apparently, uh, he is now on the uh, wanted list. Uh, apparently, something about attempting to steal a big carrot. I, I don't know. They're, they're keeping an eye on the big carrot. It's uh, right there. Uh, Ohakuni, a carrot. Uh, what the heck happened there? Uh, the uh, live stream uh, just decided to go all the way back. All by itself. Uh, I didn't even touch the screen. YouTube, thank you. Uh, anyway, that's the big carrot. And uh, that's uh, the big Mount Ropehu hiding underneath the clouds. And we are unable to see it. And I wonder if uh, there was an open time earlier. No, nope, it was raining earlier. So uh, that is uh, probably the best view we'll have right now. Let's not worry about it. We'll uh, make that one smaller. And we'll go to our next shot. Uh, this, of course, will be our uh, wonderful uh, Tao Po. And we'll make that slightly larger. Uh, the uh, lake itself that you see here, a very large lake. And uh, that, of course, is the caldera for Tao Po. It's huge. And you can see Mount Ruapehu off in the distance. And uh, there are the clouds in front of it. <laughs> so uh, that's where Mount Ruapehu is located, way back there. That's a pretty awesome. Anyway, it looks uh, pretty windy there. Uh, Sue uh, brought up the temperature. It is uh, 16 uh, Celsius or uh, 61 Fahrenheit. And winds 10 miles per hour, 16 kilometers an hour. And 38% uh, relative humidity. So uh, not uh, very uh, uh, humid. And a nice day uh, for those good people with some uh, spotty clouds up there. But still uh, pretty awesome uh, to be able to see that. And um, I guess it's getting near fall, so that would be about their time of a year. Uh, fall is uh, coming and uh, looking uh, pretty good. Um, that's about the same time as it is there. Uh, it's uh, that clock is, um, yeah, 1 30 p.m. Uh, there. Um, it's uh, not 1 30 p.m. there where you are, is it, uh, Sarah? Um, Boy, and same weather. Oh, same weather. All right. Um, okay, and not time, but a weather. All right, got it. Um, our weather is probably about like that. Our clouds are a little higher up, though. Anyway, uh, we're coming up on the break, so I'm going to go uh, close uh, this one off. We will uh, actually, you know what, let's uh, go do uh, either Yellowstone or, or Hawaii uh, real quick. And get those out of the way and uh, I got to get myself uh, to the right screen here uh, where is it Hawaii Hawaii no Yellowstone uh, there's a Yellowstone National Park uh, of course over 500 active geysers there in Yellowstone and all kinds of things to look at if you haven't uh, uh, typed in uh, that Yellowstone word like uh, what Sue did you can get that link and she just brought it up you can go to this website all kinds of neat information on Yellowstone on there and it is definitely worthy of going checking that site it's fairly decent with maps and photos updated daily that kind of thing and of course this embedded live stream so and that is a pretty cool all right let's leave it there we're gonna take this and back to Iceland and I'm going to correct the uh, stream that decided to jump back uh, really far and <laughs> get that uh, one going uh, hopefully uh, or do I have to uh, redo it here I, I can't even tell which one it's on okay let's uh, just uh, refresh it and see if it'll come back yep there it is all right uh, so We'll leave that on, and uh, for those good people who are watching, please, if you haven't yet hit the like button, give it a quick pop. Also, if you have not yet uh, subscribed to the channel, if you're lurking, peeking on in, 
uh, please do consider uh, hitting that subscribe button that certainly will help us uh, have the uh, channel growing and on those friendly notes i'm your host dr fox 2000 here in edmonton alberta canada i will be back in about five six seven eight minutes whatever the uh, break takes so i uh, hear some music in the meantime though and uh, enjoy it thanks
uh, the microphone is back on welcome or welcome back everyone and uh, glad to have you on board uh, thanks uh, sue and uh, king uh, colin uh, for uh, the uh, welcome backs and uh, thank you uh, teresa as well and uh, dave thanks uh, dave and i hear you dr fox 2000 from uh, sharon stewart and uh, thanks arian six for that wonderful uh, welcome back what a beautiful uh, night at the Arakians. Uh, you bet it is a gorgeous gorgeous uh, night out there love uh, seeing the lava flows and uh, very uh, very awesome um i'm, I'm just uh, kind of pondering uh, can we get a fourth screen up there with uh, some more flow rather than looking at schwarzengi <laughs> oh maybe i'll uh, play with that later but uh, all uh, cool. So anyway, uh, welcome and welcome back, everyone. And uh, let's uh, continue on with uh, what we were doing. And we were looking around at a volcanic activity. I think our next one on the list will be our wonderful... Uh, oh, what are we going to look at? Hawaii, maybe? I don't know. Let's see if we can uh, find Hawaii. Uh, Kalo volcano and uh, that uh, popped right up there I must have done that before uh, Linda shoe for throws in a five pack of, of uh, memberships awesome Linda first uh, batch of the day and uh, that is a uh, really really cool and uh, Linda thank you very kindly uh, Linda shoe appreciate that I gifted a, a five pack and uh, Sandy Quinn and Hurley uh, Kubler and uh, what is it, uh, Glenna uh, Lewis, uh, Hans uh, Solo and uh, Hans uh, Jantner, if I said it right, I, I don't know, but uh, congratulations to you guys and thank you very much um, there, Linda, for throwing that wonderful uh, five pack in. That is awesome. Anyway, uh, let's uh, get over to our next uh, volcanic activity here. A uh, real quick a peek at Hawaii. Not a heck of a lot happening there. There's your lovely Helama Umau crater. Uh, and you can see the uh, steaming around the edges, of course. And the other lands over here considered Kilauea. Some steaming going on in the uh, background there as well. So definitely got a little bit of heat underneath and uh, doing its thing even some steam up there I don't see that often that's uh, kind of neat all right so um, not a bad looking if we uh, go back a bunch of hours here and during the day you can see this is at 8 41 a.m. a sunlight hitting it slightly different and you can uh, definitely tell the wonderful black lava is uh, starting to absorb some of that sunlight and uh, create things and uh, higher uh, glow spots if you will uh, there's the old uh, west lava pond uh, the old west vent which is pretty much uh, stopped smoking well a little bit there and uh, that other uh, smoker and then of course around the edges and on uh, the edges of a uh, pig island i'm surprised that even survived this long that's amazing I guess a rock will float, and a rock will float forever. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's uh, put that one back on live. We're going to get over to the uh, next shot here. This, of course, is yesterday's thermal image. I'm going to refresh it, and we'll see what it looks like uh, today. And a little a bit cooler, and uh, there you go. Uh, we uh, do see around the edges, uh, the uh, glow areas here, a little bit hotter. Uh, ambient rock temperatures up in the uh, forefront here this is up and out of the caldera that's uh, sun heated and that's all it is uh, so um, uh, that is not very hot that means the rest of this area has got some uh, heat underneath that uh, from all other sources uh, and along the edges here very noticeable uh, very uh, warm uh, stuff coming out including up top here and even in the uh, back uh, corners here we're seeing a little bit of heat so that whole area is underlaid with 
um, some uh, very hot magma still sitting underneath there and that is a uh, pretty awesome uh, unfortunately we can't see the uh, southwest crater here or that uh, side uh, side vent on uh, southwest uh, uh, fissure vent whatever you want to call it the one on the wall I thought that guy was a neat but not long lived anyway let's leave that be that is Kilauea and it's doing its thing we're going to make that one smaller let's go over to Japan and uh, yeah I know Japan is not going to be very favorable to, uh, today I don't know if we can even see an ice cream boat oh my god the ice cream boat has taken off and there it is it's uh, gone Gonzo is it coming or taking off it looks like it uh, just took off we're going to have to wait for the next boat to come in it's a too dangerous suit don't even try it it's a too dangerous to get out there in the water let's uh, go uh, take a look at the uh, uh, volcano here and uh, probably get a ton of uh, commercials at uh, first it always happens let's uh, go uh, to the next one hey uh, while well, uh, that is uh, back in time we'll uh, look at that first oh uh, darn it I was hoping it'll leave it there uh, that of course was uh, the nighttime view of the lava that was going on there and uh, the glows this is ASO and of course you see the uh, two plumes there I'm trying to get it to show um, our nighttime view here but it is being stubborn uh, there we go got it to work and it is uh, definitely showing two uh, separate uh, plumes so we've got a little bit of a divide in between likely trying to build two little cones inside that little caldera and of course th that is only one vent system within the entire ASO caldera if we put that back on live we are inside the volcano right where this camera is located <coughs> this thing is about uh, 19 kilometers wide and um, uh, from east to west and about 25 kilometers north to south so it is a huge huge uh, volcanic system and uh, the only one that is a uh, only vent that's actually active is this one here so everyone refers to it as a soul even though that is a mis uh, misguided issue hang on <coughs> gotta have a drink of pepsi Ah, better fine vintage all right uh, so yeah we're seeing uh, more of that wonderful pluming going on there and uh, of course uh, that is uh, full of uh, gases and uh, steam yesterday we didn't have that much SO2 uh, from it I uh, hope that today is about the same I uh, really I don't like seeing uh, super large amounts coming from out of there anyway let's go back to a uh, Sakurajima there is a uh, Sakurajima right now that is live 9 51 a.m. and if we uh, go back a little bit and we uh, can uh, check on the state of uh, plumes and uh, there's a little bit uh, coming out uh, 7 2 a.m. and if we uh, go back and they had some uh, fog this morning and of course uh, that brings us uh, back into a nighttime what we're looking for now is glow within the caldera up top I'm not seeing any there yet it is off gassing some or degassing as you can see it floating up in the air uh, there um, not sure is that a little bit of a glow I can't really tell from here once I go back just a little bit no uh, really I'm not able to see it so if uh, there is lava down there it's going to be uh, awful hard to tell but uh, there's that uh, plume uh, heading off in the wind uh, from earlier so the wind uh, did die down a bit and let's see is there anything uh, more coming out of it as we get back that's a uh, 2347 uh, from uh, today there in the future of course so um the uh, moon of course was up a little earlier and if we go back a little bit further here uh that, that would be about it there I don't think there's that much more to uh, look at all right let's uh, put it back on live there you go and uh, double a check here comes the other ice cream boat this is a lot safer head on down get your ice cream ice cream boat is inbound so uh, definitely worthy of uh, doing that anyway uh, there you go 
uh, let's go um, over to the next one and this of course is ASO and ASO is off gassing degassing uh, throwing out gases doing its thing and uh, looks like a more of that snow was melted off of uh, the uh, volcano itself off the mountain uh, so a little bit warmer there if we uh, back up a little bit uh, just to see what it looked like earlier yep uh, still doing about the same thing and uh, this is about uh, two hours and 45 minutes ago uh, looking uh, about the same as well and uh, prior to that uh, we had clouds in there and a uh, nighttime there's a little bit better you can actually see it here underneath that cloud there is some extra uh, gases are coming off and uh, I'm uh, trying to tell what's coming off of here at this point but that's uh, too hard of a call it looks like we've got some steam or a cloud uh, moving across it at that point in time if we go further back though we can see it is uh, definitely uh, throwing out gases and let's see it was uh, the weather uh, bad yeah the rest of it was kind of like that so not going to help us much but um, we'll see how much SO2 plume there is once we get to that point in the show anyway we'll make that one smaller as well so i uh, just uh, double check make sure I got uh, these there we go I'll make that one smaller and uh, the ice cream boat is uh, just about docked it's uh, right there you can see it inbound and uh, yep and we are getting ice cream that is awesome and uh, yep we're getting close to uh, doing our um, uh, earthquakes right away too but uh, all right I'm gonna let the uh, ice cream bo boat do its thing Sue's uh, dealing with that we're gonna put it back to Iceland in the meantime and I am going to go through the volcano report. It is a sizable report today. A little bit bigger than the one from yesterday anyway. So let's get at it. So late Sunday's volcanic activity. Six volcanoes. Uh, seven Kaya in Peru. Unable to detect. Reported at 1830. Next is Nevado del Ruz in Colombia. No volcanic ash observed. Reported at 1830. Uh, Reventador in Ecuador, volcanic ash emissions possible from 1845. And next is Suwanoshijima in Japan, exploded to 5,000 feet or 1,500 meters, reported at 2030. Uh, Popo Petal, Central Mexico, light volcanic ash emissions reported at 2030. And Marapi in western Sumatra. Oh, awesome. Uh, thanks uh, for the pistachio there, uh, Sue. Uh, Western Sumatra in uh, Indonesia. Volcanic ash to 14,000 feet, uh, 4,300 meters, reported at uh, 2115. And uh, that is it uh, for yesterday's uh, volcanic activity. Uh, for today, we have a 10 on the list. So uh, Monday's uh, volcanic activity, 10 volcanoes. Starting out with a seven Kaya in Peru, unable to detect, reported at 30 minutes after midnight and at 6.30 in the morning. And uh, volcanic ash not identifiable in sunlight data, reported at 18.30. Yeah, it put up its cloaking field. What do you expect? Uh, Fuego in Guatemala, uh, volcanic ash emissions observed reported at 1 30 this morning and then volcanic ash emissions continue to 15,000 feet 4600 meters reported at 1300 uh, Dakono Halamahera Island in Indonesia uh, volcanic ash emissions or sorry continuous uh, volcanic ash emissions to 7,000 feet 2100 meters reported at 4 a.m. And then a volcanic ash uh, to uh, seven, uh, sorry, 9,000 feet at uh, 2,700 meters, reported at uh, 1,300. And uh, Rakin's uh, volcano update, we had a look at uh, both of those already, and uh, very interesting news there. And then, of course, uh, Reventador in Ecuador, a uh, separate report on that from nine, uh, 19 minutes after 4 a.m. We'll have a look at that. Uh, Popo Cante Petal, Central Mexico, possible uh, continuing volcanic ash emissions reported at 8.15 uh, 8 a.m. 
and then a volcanic ash emissions continue to 19,000 feet, 5,800 meters, reported at 1415. Uh, Sakurajima in uh, Japan, apparently it too exploded. Volcanic uh, ash cloud unknown, reported at 1115. Wow, that gives us a good uh, report, eh? Next is Nevado del Ruz in Colombia. Uh, new volcanic ash emissions to uh, 21,000 feet, 6,400 meters, reported at uh, 1245. And uh, next is Santiago in Guatemala. New volcanic ash emissions to uh, 14,000 feet, 4,300 meters, reported at 1.30 this morning. And Ibu on Halamahera Island, Indonesia, volcanic ash to 12,000 feet at uh, 3,700 meters, reported at uh, nine, uh, 1915. And that leaves us with one report to look at. And uh, let's see, and we got a camera that's a twirling, and we're going to fix that, hit that live, or we'll refresh it or something in the meantime. Uh, they uh, seem to come back when I refresh them, or at least I think they do. And i uh, just got to do something here, refresh a different uh, thing as well, and uh, record again. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to do recordings on my other laptop here that uh, starts buffering every once in a while. And of course I can't see it because I don't have eyes in the back of my head yet. I'm uh, working on that. I'm gonna implant them. Once all that hair is gone, we're gonna get the next set of eyes. Uh, old Mummy of Hamsters is here. Welcome, I'm glad to have you on board. And uh, let's uh, get that back to a bigger, there we go. And we will go over here for a minute and uh, just uh, go and load that uh, separate report. Oh, well, golly gee, I already have it loaded. How did that happen? Reventador in Ecuador, a volcano, yeah. A Reventador, a volcano, Ecuador, a volcano activity uh, persists. And uh, there you go, uh, they're showing you uh, how many uh, meters in height uh, this is uh, the 700 meter mark and it exceeded that that is uh, definitely uh, quite a high uh, explosion from uh, Reventador on uh, March uh, 17th of uh, March and that's from the uh, IGEPN uh, pretty awesome looking and you can see uh, the way the uh, flows are here and so on and uh, of course our uh, directions uh, this is always nice to have on uh, really uh, cool. Anyway, let's uh, see what else it's got. Okay, it didn't uh, find uh, the spring flower and that is uh, something else uh, that looks like in uh, Germany uh, Andernach uh, you know, the geyser of Andernach and uh, that is uh, pretty cool. Anyway, the uh, uh, the effusive explosive uh, eruption of the volcano continues and has uh, remained essentially unchanged. Near frequent uh, volcanic explosions continue to take place uh, from the summit crater at that reach of uh, 4.6 kilometers or 1500 uh, feet, 15,000 feet, my bad, uh, in height and drift west and uh, northwest over the past a few days. The viscous lava flow from the northeast flank remains active, indicating, or sorry, incandescent blocks of lava continue to be observed on the southern flanks, tumbling down about 500 meters distance from the summit. Lahars, also known as mud flows, could also occur if heavy rainfall remobilizes the fresh ash deposits. And that one, that's what I'm worried about uh, would happen there in, on uh, Popo County Pedal. And because of all this recent activity there, it's really got some heavy duty ash on top of it. All right, it is a time for me to go take a break, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, we are going to go do that. So uh, hang in there, everyone. I will uh, get you back over to our lovely lava views. And uh, let's see, I saw uh, many inactive uh, volcanoes in our drives uh, through Wyoming and Montana. Yeah, I wish I would have wrote down all the names too. <laughs> yeah. 
um, there were a lot in uh, Idaho there's quite a few and uh, you know we like when you're living in an area just driving through or some you take things for granted you don't always uh, check check on stuff um, anyway it is what it is um, anyhow for those good people who are here if you are new and you haven't yet hit that uh, subscribe button consider subscribing if you're peeking in and you are enjoying the show also if you have not yet hit the like button I see a couple people just did and uh, thank you and um, of course hit the like button it helps us out with our algorithms of YouTube and uh, that'll be uh, pretty cool all right on uh, that friendly note i'm your host dr fox 2000 i'll be back after the break don't go away here's some music
the microphone is back on. Welcome and welcome back, everyone. I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000. You're watching Volcano X live stream. Uh, thank you for the uh, welcome back from a Sioux and a Kananaskis country. And Mark Smith is here saying, I am Batman. I don't know if I'm your Batman or not, Mark. But whatever helps you. <laughs> oh boy, uh, Dave, you've really messed it up now. That's uh, worse than my dyslexia. <laughs> Thanks. And uh, thank you, oh mummy of hamsters, uh, for the uh, welcome back, Uncle Doc. Awesome. And uh, thank you, Teresa, as well. And uh, that is a uh, cool. And there's a uh, Sharon Stewart in between her groceries and hope her fridge is still working and I hear you Dr. Fox 2000 as my fridge is limping along I think something like that anyway that, that's a good hey I never did finish the earthquakes over at uh, Iceland oh my god what have I we done and uh, thank you, Sue, for the volcano report. I forgot to say that, too. Or did I? I can't remember. My mind's going. I don't know where it's going, but when I find it, I'll, I'll put it back. Um, let's uh, go over uh, there and uh, just uh, go uh, take a look at a few uh, quakes. We're not going to hit on all of them. There's a lot of activity um, all over the place. And we uh, do have that little swarming group over here. That might be something at some kind of a heating a plant here. Uh, anyway, at, uh, 13, at 27, 1.89, 4.1 clicks down, and the rest of them are all below a 1, so we're not going to really worry about those. We've got a 0.5 up there. Uh, moving over a little bit, we do see a 0.3 over by Hecla, and that's from 1832, 700 meters down below sea level. This one is a 0.2. 6.9 clicks down 23 uh, 36 uh, moving up and of course what we mentioned about Bartabunga we uh, don't see any more major stuff going on there at 1324.69 uh, uh, 11.6 uh, kilometers down and if we uh, change that back uh, to uh, 24 hours is it still on there no uh, the four is gone but uh, there's uh, still these other ones here two and a half uh, or 2.5 and a 4.5 kilometers down at 12.3 then we got 1.94 7.2 clicks down and uh, that's a 12.23 1.42 9.9 kilometers down from a 421 and uh, this one from a 137 a.m. a 1 a 7.7 7 clicks down and a 1.06 135 uh, meters down and at 1.9 135 meters down as well and that's from a 3 a.m. so kind of have to take it all with a grain of salt and wonder what the heck we got going on there hey maybe we'll get a second eruption <laughs> that'd be awesome uh, and over here 0 0.61 11.5 kilometers down that's uh, uh, Kirk Fjold uh, uh, if I'm uh, seeing it correctly 1516 was the time on that, 11 and a half kilometers down. Uh, over here on head the break, we have got a 0 0.7, 4.6 kilometers down at 12, uh, sorry, at 23, at 16. And a couple up here in the uh, way far north, 13, uh, 28, a 0.5, a 10 uh, kilometers down, and a 1.6, a 300 meters down. And that's from uh, 53 minutes after midnight. Very new quake. So I uh, just uh, wanted to cover those just so we didn't uh, miss the rest of it. But uh, yeah, that big uh, 4.39 there that uh, we had at uh, Bardabunga. Um, you know, it was uh, basically a one, one shot deal. Um, and we didn't see too much more from it. And of course, uh, that being right on the line here that's our plate boundary that's uh, the uh, North American side and uh, this one is the uh, Eurasian side over here and that's where the uh, boundary runs so uh, happens to be right where the volcanic activity is eh? neat 
Uh, anyway, uh, let's uh, leave that. Uh, fridge is uh, 56 in uh, the uh, top. A new one coming in eight days. Got a mini fridge uh, to tide us over. Already uh, had a small uh, foot locker a freezer uh, defrosted that. Uh, we are all set for the meantime. Awesome, awesome. Glad to hear that. And uh, at least you're not uh, not losing uh, a whole bunch of things. And you're uh, good for now. All right, let's get over to the other quake map. And of course, uh, this is uh, the uh, USGS map, and we'll run through it real quick. Uh, first thing that uh, pops to mind is uh, the bigger one here, 5.4 in Pakistan. Uh, that happened at 1835 uh, our time, uh, 10 kilometers down, a uh, fair size uh, quake. That's the uh, latest one on the map. Uh, real quick, I uh, don't see anything on the Kamchatka Peninsula or uh, the Aleutian Islands. We have one here in the Corral Islands, 4.7 from 1146, uh, 50.5 kilometers down. Looking at uh, North America, we don't see anything uh, too far uh, in the east. Here's one way up in the uh, northern parts of Alaska, uh, 2.7 at uh, Katavik, Alaska. Katavik. Uh, anyway, that's a uh, 14:07 was the time, 7.7 .7 kilometers down. Uh, sliding down a little bit uh, further, uh, we see a bigger one, a 3.1 here at uh, 28 kilometers uh, southeast of the Alamo. And uh, the Alamo, of course, is sacred. Uh, anyway, uh, 1711 was the time, a nine and a half kilometers down, sliding further south, and not too much activity over here in uh, uh, Puerto Rico and the uh, Dominican Republic. We do have this uh, five, uh, 4.5 of uh, uh, Costa Rica uh, out in uh, the water and that's from a uh, 4 uh, 408 this morning 1108 is at the time on uh, that one uh, sliding further down Peru uh, 4.3 45 minutes after midnight a uh, 44.9 clicks down uh, some uh, Chilean ones here a uh, 4.1 and uh, 55 kilometers uh, southeast of La uh, Tarana Chile and that's from a 1552 and 90.1 kilometers down the other one is a 4.4 very close to it at 323 a.m. our time 126.5 kilometers down for that one sliding further down we do see this and that is on the uh, uh, not the Cocos on uh, the uh, uh, what, what are those uh, the Aztec plate here uh, I think that's what it's called. I keep forgetting what the, the name of that plate is. Anyway, uh, West Chile Rise uh, from uh, 2 uh, 15 a.m. And that is uh, 10 uh, kilometers uh, down for that 4.5. Nothing out here in the South Sandwich Islands. And uh, let's uh, zoom out and uh, look here along the Antarctic Rise. We don't see anything there. Uh, quick uh, zoom in on New Zealand, nothing over four showing there, nothing in Fiji and Nazca plate. That's it. Thank you, Sue. I was uh, trying to uh, rack my brains here. And why is it always not show up? Nazca, the Nazca lines, Nazca plate. There we go. And that's my association. Anyway, um, nothing in Tonga or Fiji or Vanuatu or Papua New Guinea. Uh, we uh, get one here in uh, Indonesia, and that is, well, I guess, uh, not too far away from Lutalak, uh, but uh, that is all good. Uh, 4.5 uh, from uh, yesterday, 2213, uh, 216, uh, sorry, 263.5 kilometers down for that. Sliding all the way up, we don't see anything all the way into uh, Myanmar along uh, that. Uh, fault line and we'll get to the uh, one in China in a bit uh, this one here is uh, where is that well there's Helamahera Island this is out in uh, the middle of the water 4.9 uh, 335 this morning uh, 4 point uh, sorry a uh, 46.6 kilometers down for him and uh, nothing out here in uh, Taiwan we do have uh, this one near Guam 
4.6, a.m., 12.6 kilometers down, northern end, uh, the, uh, they call it the uh, Japanese uh, Volcano Islands uh, region, anyway, uh, that's uh, the northern end of the Marianas, uh, 5.04 a.m., 10 kilometers down for that one. And uh, look at where that quake is. Uh, there is a Suenosi, uh, no, sorry, Sakurajima. And uh, this is where the quake is. And uh, Kagoshima is right there. Uh, so a 4.4, 4, a 10, a 12 was the time, and 131.1 uh, kilometers down for him. And uh, let's see, anything else? Well, uh, this one up here in the Corral Islands, uh, we got a 4.7. 11.46 was the time, 50 and a half kilometers down. Next one, of course, is the one we already reported, 5.4 here in Pakistan, 18.35 is the time, and 10 kilometers down. The other one here in Iran, a 4.3 from a 14.23, a 40 kilometers down for him. And we see one down here in... Uh, uh, Tanzania, a uh, 4.4, and a uh, 7:14 a.m. 10 kilometers down for that, and yeah, you can expect a few quakes in that area. That is all part of what's going to break off, and we're going to have that new um, beautiful island out there. And uh, I still have a lot of property for sale up in here. Anyone who's interested in beachfront property, please contact me after the show. I have a very good price for you on any of those lots. <laughs> oh, anyway, uh, looking at what we see. Uh, remember yesterday when I said that we're going to see some uh, push up here? Well, we uh, do see a little bit here on the Hellenian Arc. And that, of course, is uh, this area here. And uh, that is uh, just south of Crete. That's a 4.0, a 12.26 is the time. And uh, 43 uh, kilometers down for that guy. Uh, looking at uh, the rest of it, we don't see any new ones there. No new quakes in our stack there. And uh, we uh, do see uh, this one. They did put it on the map. It's a 4.7. And that's the one right uh, there. They're calling it a 4.7. Iceland called it a 4.39. And that, of course, is from 1845 yesterday, uh, our time. And uh, that's actually uh, this morning from Iceland's time, or well, technically now yesterday's uh, Iceland time. But uh, anyway, that's uh, what we got there. So uh, three minutes to go. Okay, let's uh, thanks, uh, Sue. Let's see if we can finish our Hawaiian quakes in under three minutes. Uh, we see one on the uh, lowlands here uh, to the northeast of Mauna Kea. And uh, that's a 1.8706 this morning and 11.7 kilometers below sea level. Don't see anything else uh, fresh and new. Uh, on the other areas uh, we have, well, there's Kilauea here. And this is, uh, what, uh, 2.3 from uh, uh, 1422, 2.4 kilometers down. And then we've got this over here is a, a 1.8 from a 326 a.m., uh, 34 kilometers down for him. This one is a 1.9 from a 2210, a 30.9 kilometers below sea level. And this one is a 1.7 from a 22.28 yesterday, 30.6 kilometers down, and a 1.9 from today at 8.31, and 33.8 kilometers down for him. And that's it for our Hawaiian earthquakes. So um, that's a pretty good, and got through those without a problem. Um, hopefully we won't see more quakes here in Pakistan. Uh, the, uh, the houses over there are just not built for uh, any kind of um, significant earthquakes uh, from uh, what we know of. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, leave that there. Let's uh, get over to our um, wonderful views here. We'll continue to uh, watch that. And um, I'm going to go take that break. So 
Um, let's see. And uh, you're welcome. Everybody is welcome. And thank you, Sue. <laughs> Uh, and that's all good okay I'm gonna go take that break after the break we'll get into our SO2 map since we don't want to miss that and we'll see what we got uh, hopefully and that'll be uh, cool yep Pepsi time for me I need that for those good people who are here if you have not yet bumped that like button please consider doing that if you're enjoying the show also, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, uh, please uh, do subscribe if you feel we've earned it. On that friendly note, I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000. I will be back after the break. Uh, so glad she is uh, going and uh, no damage uh, to pipes. Yep, so far no damage uh, to pipes. Uh, the ones, uh, yeah, the big pipeline uh, didn't get, um, uh, the lava didn't get there yet, but the... Uh, the smaller ones, uh, the smaller one and the beside the road did get covered up, but they also uh, protected that, so uh, that is all good. Oh, yay, I'm going to go take that break. Keep smiling and welcome, Kimmy. Good to have you on board. I'll be back after the break. Here's some music. Keep smiling. <laughs>
and there we go the microphone is back on now, welcome or welcome back everyone I'm your host dr. Fox 2000 you're watching a volcano X live stream and uh, thank you for the uh, welcome backs from a uh, Sue and oh mummy of hamsters saying a uh, welcome back uncle doc on coink and uh, thank you Elisa uh, as well as uh, Sharon Stewart uh, singing I hear you Dr. Fox 2000 and I hope a cookster Littlefield isn't singing too uh, looks like you made it welcome back doc <laughs> oh boy uh, that would be horrible if everybody uh, sang uh, all the time I uh, wouldn't be able to keep up anyway uh, all good you guys and um, uh, what happened hmm old Nick uh, not seen Kathy for a while yeah um, yeah I hope uh, Kathy's okay I haven't seen her either I um, hope she's uh, doing uh, fairly well um, that's unfortunately I, I was uh, thinking about that I haven't seen her for a bit and uh, for an eruption like this she would love to be in here uh, without a doubt anyway let's uh, try to uh, carry on with uh, Let's see, what are we looking for? Um, we're going to look for uh, this guy and maybe a free page underneath here. Uh, oh, I'm going to add a page, I think. I've got too many other uh, things open in here. What is uh, this one, by the way? Uh, oh, we already have that one on the other spot. We can get rid of him. And uh, this one, uh, let's see. Oh, uh, that's the Hagafelt one, and uh, that's what it looks like from um, this. Uh, that's what it looks like from uh, down by the greenhouse area, looking north. So uh, that's a uh, pretty cool. Uh, anyway, uh, some of these other ones, I just want to just uh, peek at them. Ooh, I've never seen this one before, live from Iceland. Um, yeah. Uh, what do you think of that? Uh, hop right in there's your lava pond and the exit port that is building up a nice cone I didn't realize uh, they had uh, this one going yeah that is a uh, cool um, oh and there was just a collapse I, I like that too and that is a uh, pretty awesome oh and there's more stuff uh, falling in out in the front of that that is uh, kind of neat. Maybe we'll see a total collapse. Uh, so much for SO2. I uh, don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I want to be close just like that. And uh, that is a nice uh, shot. Um, I'm going to have to uh, put, uh, never mind recording on the other stream there. I got to do this. A close up lava shot. Uh, <laughs> we'll uh, see. Hang on, I gotta uh, do uh, something here. Um, okay, well, let's I'll, I'll stop my recording there and then I will go and see if we can spot a live from Iceland. Uh, no, I, I don't want to see that. I want to go back a little bit further here. Oh, it's not letting me. Uh, oh. I went back too far. Okay, maybe it will help me now. Uh, okay, I didn't make it that. Completely big. Uh, live from Iceland is what I want. And gotta f I'm, I'm going to set the recording up here, so uh, let's see which crater that is. Why am I not seeing it on here? Live from Iceland. Well, I will grab that. No, nope, that's not the one we want. Um, just give me a minute. I will be right there. <laughs> I'm uh, trying to find uh, this um, spot. And uh, what the heck do they call this one? Uh, Sunukar. Okay, let's see if I can uh, find that and I get that playing on here. Oh, that's not the same one. Uh, live from Iceland has got some pretty good shots right now, so uh, pretty uh, cool. Uh, 
where's the other Sinuka uh, film? Uh, not there, not there, not there. That's got to be uh, this one. And uh, there we go. Alright, and we're going to record that close-up view of the, the crater there, so that is uh, pretty autumn, uh, awesome. Uh, no problem, uh, we'll just enjoy the bubbling lava tub. Absolutely. Yeah, well, I, you know, that's the question. Do you want to watch this close-up, <laughs> or, uh, or do you want to uh, uh, do... Uh, um, Yep, a live from Iceland. There's a bunch of uh, the live from Iceland, the ones that are actually uh, tuned in a little bit better uh, today. And I'm happy that he did that. Um, and I know it's tough to get the view just right. And of course here, um, definitely zoomed in quite a bit. So the camera's a little shaky, but still um, it is uh, who cares about SO2 right now. That's what I say. <laughs> it is uh, pretty awesome. Uh, SO2 and the weather, we don't need it. Uh, this is more interesting, and uh, we enjoy that. So, um, yeah, rewind uh, the uh, collapse again. Uh, I'm not going to rewind because we're uh, doing that, but if you want to go some uh, back a little bit, uh, the uh, collapse was at the front piece. Uh, down in here right in uh, this area there was some inner collapse and then this piece uh, broke off and that happened about three minutes ago or four minutes ago um, I am recording this now on my other stream, uh, other uh, laptop so we'll uh, be able to save some of uh, this close-up footage uh, and it'll be good uh, lava's good yeah uh, all uh, getting uh, your lava fix uh, today. You bet. Um, it is definitely, wow, a close-up, a shot. Don't get too close. That stuff is super, super hot. And um, I don't know if they've taken any temperatures. I'm uh, very curious at what the lava temperature actually is. And uh, the reason for that is... is and that is kind of a telltale sign of uh, where it may have come from and if we um, you know know it's somewhere over that uh, 1220 uh, Celsius mark um, that could oh and there's more stuff falling in on the uh, right hand side there keep an eye on that um, the uh, um, 1220 to 1240 degrees is what Ragnar was cooking at. So that is the uh, uh, the temperature from uh, that specific chamber down below. And you never know if, um, you know, we have everything as a, a fairly even uh, temperature down there, but uh, we know that in different areas, uh, there are different temperatures for volcanoes. Uh, Kilauea being uh, a lot less, somewhere around 1100 degrees C. Whereas uh, here in Iceland, uh, we uh, peak up at uh, 1200, 1240, 1250, depending on where it is. Uh, some in Indonesia are 1300 degrees. So um, it's very interesting to see the different temperatures of lava around the world and very uh, cool. I just like uh, if a chunk and uh, Chuck Norris gave made a lava lamp. <laughs> Chuck, oh, there's some more collapsing on the right hand side. Uh, that is a uh, pretty cool. Uh, watching that uh, fall in like that. Uh, very, very awesome, you guys. And uh, yeah, um, yeah, I don't really want to leave this, uh, but. Uh, they have other good views here. I'm going to see if I can uh, maybe uh, spot them uh, on uh, one of the other ones here. I'm going to go and uh, do my split screen. We'll leave this one on for you. 
and uh, that one will uh, continue to be on. I hope, is my audio still coming through? I hope it is. Uh, hopefully, uh, because it uh, shows my microphone uh, cut off. Uh, can you guys still hear me okay? Uh, five by five, okay, uh, all good. And uh, then I can uh, go uh, to uh, take a look at uh, other stuff. And let's we'll see what that one looks like. Oh, that's the same one. All right, let's uh, remove that. And I will go take a look and uh, see if we can uh, stick it into another uh, spot and uh, work on that for a second. So um, give me a few uh, minutes here and I will try to uh, fix uh, things up. Oop, I need to uh, do something here real quick. Uh, put it back on here and get rid of the hamster. We uh, don't need to see the hamster whipping across the screen, especially uh, during uh, a recording, right? So, always uh, neat. Okay, and now let's go back to here. And I will uh, find uh, that page. And uh, that should be there. And let's see. Thornbjorn, uh, no, this is... Well, uh, that's uh, the other one from MBL. And this is not working, so we'll get rid of uh, that one. And uh, we will add live from Iceland and uh, let's see if I can uh, find the other uh, screen here live from Iceland uh, why uh, do they hide him I want his uh, channel uh, there we go live and we'll see if we can uh, spot these other uh, flows um, that is uh, this one, okay, that's not the one we are looking for. Um, what about uh, this one? Nope, and not that one either. And, nope, and not that one either. Uh, what about uh, that one? Nope, and not that one either. Alright, where is... Nope, that's not... Boy, I'm having a tough time of finding some of these. Um, not good. He's got a lot of live uh, channels right now, so that is uh, pretty awesome. Um, I'm trying to find the, the live one, though. Oh, that's uh, no good either. Ha! Huh. All right, where is that other view I was uh, just looking at? Uh, nope, and not that one. It was at the very crisp, clear view. Um, and we're not seeing it. Unless it's hiding on me. Uh, I don't see it there, not there, not here. Alright, and what did I do to get that earlier? Okay, it's uh, not looking uh, good for me. All right, and we're going to have to leave uh, that one be and uh, not worry about it. Uh, let's see, a uh, Thorbjorn. Yeah, the other one uh, that we've got up there is not quite the same, but let's uh, take a look here now and see. Okay, and does that work a little better? Uh, if we uh, go push this live uh, like so, um, that look okay for you? And then and maybe what we can do is we can add, I'm going to add one here, and we'll see if we can get that on there too, just so we have a full screen of lava. And uh, how about uh, that? Uh, does uh, that work? Okay. Uh, love those close-ups. Yep, we do too. Uh, classic mode. There we go. All right. Now I can't get much more lava on the screen, uh, you guys. That's uh, pretty much it. <laughs> um, we can uh, probably uh, mess around with a few uh, different views, though. And uh, I'm uh, trying to find uh, where uh, is uh, this? Uh, no, that's the other one. 
I'm uh, trying to find uh, the right ones here. Um, and, and this one, I want to see. I'm going to uh, change that for a second. Yeah, this one. Okay, that's the one I want. A copy. Uh, and we'll uh, put it back on uh, there. And uh, let's see if we can uh, fix this up. I gotta find uh, that screen now. And that is not uh, that one. Okay, that is uh, this one. And uh, we'll uh, click on here and uh, paste and go. And we'll put uh, that one on. There we go. Alright, so that's the lovely lava we want to see on the screen. And uh, there you go. And that is awesome. So, a very close up lava shots and a one a far, a couple of far away ones. So, a really, really cool. I uh, could spend a lifetime uh, there. Uh, so uh, beautiful. It is a uh, roof. Yep, we got a couple of roof. Well, we got roof and we got, uh, uh, of course, a line from Iceland. And uh, you gotta get uh, this back up on top there. Oop. Up you go, and there you go. Live from Iceland. I fixed it up. All right. Uh, so that is a lava leave you, hey? <laughs> uh, gotta enjoy that. And um, yeah, the nice part is uh, definitely recording that close up. So uh, that is a uh, pretty cool. Uh, so uh, that was the uh, most recent data I could find uh, regarding how close it was uh, to the road and uh, the uh, roof cam is uh, one of the, uh, the uh, um, uh, dark of course because the light uh, yeah we can't see uh, from that camera and right now I don't think they have it uh, po pointed there anymore or do they uh, because it's so dark you couldn't tell anyway uh, but uh, right now what uh, we got on the screen does look uh, very very appetizing and uh, it is uh, doing its thing so uh, it certainly doesn't seem to be decreasing well it is um, uh, back to work on the Wednesday hi I'm uh, currently at a, a work party uh, back to work on a Wednesday. Andre, uh, welcome and uh, glad to have you on board. Hopefully uh, you're having a, a good day uh, because we certainly are. We're enjoying the lava for Monday and uh, that is a very very uh, nice but you know I'm uh, looking at the time of the day here and uh, of course with uh, it being a work day uh, it uh, hitting eight o'clock or pretty much uh, close to it I think what I am going to do is I'm going to wrap up the stream as far as my show here for right now and uh, we'll uh, leave the SO2 and the uh, uh, the weather out for today which will be okay uh, we uh, don't really need to worry about that too much we can all uh, check our own weather if we have to and uh, that's all good and uh, I do need to wrap it up. Uh, might be the only sober one here. <laughs> Andre, uh, that's okay. Uh, so maybe you'll be the designated driver. Have you got a bus so you can take them all home? <laughs> maybe you could get one. Anyway, uh, I'm going to, um, I can, uh, I can uh, post the cold temps. Yeah, you can, if you've already got them a loaded Sue. Uh, go ahead and uh, post them uh, that'll uh, give us a pretty good idea of what it's like around the world um, which cam is at the bottom left uh, let me uh, see if I can uh, give you uh, the link for it um, yeah I know it's uh, it's not so easy there uh, <laughs> and, uh, I have that same issue. Which cam is it? <laughs> I have uh, so many uh, different feeds, so it is hard to tell. Um, okay, uh, Kibi, uh, this one uh, just for you. Uh, there you go. And uh, that is uh, that camera. 
I uh, still see uh, the eruption uh, from uh, here uh, though okay awesome um, are you uh, are you actually able to see the uh, lava plumes or are you just seeing the glow of the eruption um, and that's uh, what I'm worried about uh, wondering about I think uh, Thorbjorn uh, might be in your way to actually see the physical eruption but uh, there you go um, yeah anyway just the glow yeah uh, well uh, hey it's still the glow was uh, very important one of the things I did notice earlier or I was going to comment on if you take a look at the uh, top two uh, uh, screens uh, of course uh, those are both looking at it from east to uh, from the east side going uh, west or northwest and you can see the uh, direction of the plume uh, going so it's headed up uh, towards the north and the uh, bottom of right cam is of course uh, to the west up on uh, Thorbjorn uh, looking at the uh, venting there and you can see that going uh, northwest as well so uh, some of this may be uh, getting into uh, I'm on the uh, I'm, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it Snafelness uh, Snafelness a Peninsula is that how you pronounce it Snafelness 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 Oh boy, uh, that is a uh, tough. Ah, uh, Andre, are you giving me tough words? <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so all cool. Wow, uh, that is cold. Minus 74 in Antarctica, minus 54 in Greenland, minus 44 in Canada. Uh, uh, Alaska is only minus 24. And uh, Russia, minus 36. Thank you, Sue, for posting those. And I'm uh, sorry for uh, kind of sneaking away and not playing the game tonight, but I uh, think uh, that uh, people wanted to go uh, see this uh, wonderful lava pot instead. And I'm happy to uh, leave it on here for a little while. We'll leave uh, the close up on. And uh, yeah, that is a very, very, I was going to say very, very cool, but that's the wrong word for this. That is very, very hot. So, um, I will be switching back and forth between this one and uh, the uh, quad view uh, or uh, whatever everyone else has been calling it, a mosaic uh, view. So, um, hopefully you'll enjoy the lovely lava and uh, hope everyone has a, a wonderful, wonderful night tonight. Um, I'm going to say a big uh, thank you to our only uh, uh, gift giver for tonight and that was Linda Schuf uh, throwing in a five pack of uh, memberships there thank you Linda for uh, doing that and supporting the channel and uh, thank you everyone else uh, for uh, being here tonight appreciate all of you and uh, of course uh, big uh, thanks uh, to our moderators Arizona Snowman and Piggy and Sue and CND Boy and Yvonne Kunkel and Gura and Siggy and uh, Gary at 24-7 Live, AZ Skies, and uh, always uh, a pleasure to have uh, all of you guys on helping out. Really do appreciate it, and uh, you don't know how much I really do appreciate it. So uh, thank you, uh, moderators. Uh, awesome stuff, and uh, you guys are great. And a big, a big thank you to all of you. I'll be here uh, for uh, tomorrow's uh, show awesome and uh, hopefully everything will work out really really well okay uh, be good everyone and uh, take care of yourselves and uh, hopefully that uh, everyone will uh, um, be able to uh, enjoy this uh, lavaly uh, sunshine here uh, that uh, we see uh, bubbling up all night long and uh, hopefully they'll keep the camera there that is a pretty uh, pretty awesome um, gotta love it. Anyway, uh, Doc, you, uh, what, Doc, could I be a mod? Uh, would, uh, do a good job keeping cars out. Uh, <laughs> uh, cars, 
Oh, uh, cats, not cars. I was going to say, uh, what are you going to do, rip the bumpers off? Oh, boy. Uh, but we have some very nice cats in here. Like, uh, let's see, uh, Gemma the Super Kitty. And uh, Fluffy. And the Poppet. I, I don't know. Uh, this is not um, adding up to a uh, well there, Pepper. <laughs> anyway, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, another collapse on the back uh, right uh, side. Uh, anyway, enjoy uh, watching this. And uh, we'll uh, do our thing. Uh-oh, uh, there's a Ron. Run, Ron, run. Uh, right up the curtains. Uh, uh, Pepper can't get you up there. Uh <laughs> Anyway, uh, as the uh, cone building continues, it's always a, a pleasure. Anyway, uh, thank you everyone, and I'm glad to have had you all on board today for our Monday show. Uh, of course, tomorrow is Tuesday. Show will be on at the uh, normal weekday times, as long as nothing goes wrong. Uh, cue the uh, Volcano X, and uh, that'll uh, be good. And on those friendly notes, uh, only uh, one thing left to add is a please, a please, tell your loved ones that you love them tonight, for tomorrow is never promised. I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000, here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. We'll see everyone tomorrow. And take care, good night, and oink, oink.
Thank you.